<laughs> Minions! Oh, for fuck's sake, Disney! <laughs> of all movies to lose in the box office too, Top Gun, I guess, but fucking Minions! Okay, you got fucking, bro, Disney, you got fucking ratioed by fucking banana. <laughs> fucking Pixar. Pixar fucking, like, the graphically, when it comes to movies, Pixar. Pixar's light year is where it's at when it comes to graphics, and you get ratioed by fucking Gru. <laughs> Okay, so let's read into this a bit more. So the families of the world voted with their dollars, as uh, usual. And Minion, the Minions box office absolutely destroyed and embarrassed. Uh, fucking ratio. You got fucking ratio, Disney. And they did it in a... <laughs> weekend god almighty oh you were cursed disney you were cursed the moment you removed tim allen as boz cursed oh my god so what else we got here okay i'm gonna try and take this seriously now so Oh my god, oh my god, sorry, I was reading, I'm just reading into this and I just seen something that I like a lot. So, this particular uh, paragraph here, right, this particular one here has caught my eye, alright, so... So, apparently here, Marvel, like this week, the thing that's coming up next is War and Thunder, or Love and Thunder, sorry. And it seems to be another woke infested Kevin Fledge mess similar to Doctor Strange to Ya Disney, you're getting clowned on, bro. What happened? Oh look, like I always like to say, you backed the wrong horse, Disney. You went for woke culture, you thought this is where it was at, you thought that's where the future was, you backed the wrong horse. Always bet on red. Always bet on red. You shouldn't have bet on black. I know that sounds bad, but it's roulette. It is fucking roulette. You should have always bet on fucking red. Uh, so what's next for Disney? Not a lot. Because that's what's so good about this now. Is that Disney is in a position now where they are fucked, right? They are not even in a state where, like, it's going to be recoverable. Like, it's going to take them a good 40 plus years to recover from this mess. And that's if you're lucky. It's like, why? Disney, see? This is what happens when you politic in your movies. You should have left it alone. <laughs> you should have said, oh yeah, we're going to let people be people, but no. What are the box of oh Jesus? You got fucking You got ratioed by Jurassic World Elvis the Black Phone and well Maverick, yeah I see in that coming. Damn Damn You got fucking ratioed Absolutely, fucking lootly oh, there's comments. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is great. This is great. Uh, Disney's fucked. 
Disney is fu what is this? Oh, what is this? What are you? Oh my god. This is this this is all my, all my days. I wow. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit! This is this is great. I'm gonna end it here, guys. I'm gonna end it here because this this is perfect. This is great. Disney, you are you are up against the ropes, and you only have a few options now. Like you can either just embrace what the fans are saying and start putting out good movies, or keep going woke and stay broke. Like once you go woke, you're gonna like you know what they always used to say, go woke or go broke. Yeah, well, people have gone woke, and this is what happens. Now they're broke. It's it's a lose lose. You were damned if you do, damned if you don't. And what have you learned? Don't fucking pander. All right, this this is why your fucking Star Wars shit is failing. So what's the excuse now, Disney? Are the fans racist, homophobic, prejudice, whatever? Like what is it this week? Which uh, which ism or phobic is it today? Because I'm very curious to hear what your fucking excuses are now. Because this is beyond the joke. I'm going 